Welcome to the city of Barstow with a population of 25,000 current residents and an average household income in Barstow is $66,000 annually with a poverty rate of 22.53%. We're gonna be going into the pros and the cons about living in Barstow, California here in the high desert. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Angelica Bonilla here with Excellence Real Estate and the Bonilla Group. Today we're gonna be taking a deep dive into all the pros and the cons, all the good and the bad about Barstow, California. So if you're interested in finding out more information about, about Barstow and you're thinking about making your move to Barstow or relocating, there's a couple of things that we're gonna be going over here in this video. And keep in mind that all of this information is just for information and for entertainment purposes only, okay? You're gonna have to verify all of the information on my list, but don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So if you're thinking about relocating to Barstow, you're gonna wanna watch everything on my list today. And I'm gonna leave you the biggest one at the end of the video that I feel that you need to know about, about Barstow and why if you are seeing the home prices in Barstow go up, that's probably gonna be the main reason why. And we're gonna talk about it in this Carlos video. Carlos con Carlos. We're here today with Carlos. We are showing him houses here in Barstow, California. We're showing for houses under 300,000. Carlos, como sientes? How do you feel? Yeah, I feel really good. Uh, I recommend the, the Bonilla Group. Uh, uh, Number one. Well, what do you think of our service today and how we showed you houses? And uh, yeah, this is great. You know, like uh, we see a lot of different houses, like 10 houses today. And I, uh, we're going to make an offer. We're going to do, we're going to follow the, the, procedure. The, 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 everything, you the know, process. Uh, the process of uh, everything. We're going to do that. And then I hope uh, God and everything, uh, we can get the first house. You know? Yes, yeah, so that's what we're, we're pushing for Carlos to get his house today and get some offers accepted because he's looking for a home here in Barso. So don't forget, uh, give us a likes and follow uh, the yes. media group and everything. <laughs> yeah. and, we love and it. then, uh, yeah, and Carlos, how did you find us? How did you oh, find us? Oh, uh, I find that in YouTube, you know, we, we live in San Diego and uh, I started looking at uh, videos, 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 and I got some friends living in Xperia. Yeah. And I ask, I, I like to ask, you know, like I'm saying, like, hey, where do you live? How much you pay? Where's the payments? Mm -hmm. Where's everything? You know, so I, I start following about that. And then uh, I, I find you guys in YouTube and I, I call and you guys help him a lot. And we make appointment. We came over here and, you know, everything, you know. Yes. So don't forget to follow. Uh, the follow, Bonilla like, and subscribe for the Bonilla, Bonilla Group. group. Thank, thank, you. thank you so you much, Carlos. Right okay, thank you. So what's the most important thing for everybody right now is home affordability. Now let's talk about Barstow's home medium sales price. So Barstow's medium home sales price is two is your medium home sales price. Now you can find homes that are listed for 225, 230. You're going to have to do a, a little bit of work to them or, um, to upgrade them or paint them or, you know, upgrade the countertops, just do a little bit of work to them, but you could get a property for 230 to 40, but the medium sales price, right? Now the average days on market meeting, meaning how long is it taking a home to sell right now in Barstow is 27 days. Okay. That's the medium days on market. The average days on market that we're seeing is 39 days on market. Okay. So it could take you up to 39 days to receive an offer, negotiate if you're a seller in Barstow looking to sell, but you need to remember that you are in a seller's market right now. Okay. So we're still seeing if the home is in good condition, price right in the right area, you're still seeing multiple offers on these properties. Okay. Cause it's a seller's market. Inventory is low. Now, Let's uh, talk about the next uh, 
thing here on my list. Okay, so I just want to talk to you about a couple of things because I know that you might think that Barstow has no shopping or there's nowhere to go, uh, maybe uh, shopping for groceries or maybe there's no mall out there. Okay, and I want you to keep in mind that they just built a beautiful Walmart and a shopping center on Alpha Main Street. Okay, and um, I wanted to kind of show you a little video so the video is going to come up next all right guys so this is the new shopping center here in barstow okay so it's called center on main okay so i think that's why i said it was on main street okay uh, i do remember it uh being called that okay so this is where the walmart is there's a jack-in-the-box a, a verizon okay there's a a panda express there's um GameStop, okay, and then there's uh, the Walmart, okay. So it's a full shopping center that is uh, brand new here in uh, Barstow. I mean, if you take a look at it, it's a really nice. Uh, it's a big Walmart. I'm sure it's like a super Walmart, okay. I remember when I started seeing the signs that they were building the Walmart, and then when I do have a video on it. I'm going to add that to one of the videos that I'm doing next. Okay. But this is how this shopping center looks here in the city of Barstow. Okay. What do you guys think? Because all this is brand new. Talk about improvements, right? <laughs> just... Okay. What do you guys think about the shopping center that's uh, right here in Barstow with the Walmart? And I mean, they have a Panda Express, a Jack in a Box. Okay. So, I mean, nice little shopping center that uh, just got built okay and also don't worry you do have the barstow outlet so you don't have a mall but you do have the outlets uh which a lot of people stop by the outlets because they have really good prices right okay so you you guys can see how it looks at night all the all the lights are up looks so good out here Oh, really it's like it got busier right look up like there's more cars right now than a little bit right a little smaller are we so we're going to Calvin Klein and you don't even have to go to the coach store anymore right see if there's any sales yeah The help center yeah welcome center go get all of the info that you need in there there's another restroom on this side and we're gonna go to Calvin and then we'll go to the Nike store and then to the coach store I'm able to make it I don't know okay so you do have some kind of shopping you you will find a stater brothers a food for less okay and other grocery stores in barstow as well okay so if you were thinking that there's just no shopping in barstow you still do have some sort of shopping there's also a marshall's in uh, barstow okay now you also want to keep in mind that the high-speed train is uh coming it's due to be built or they're built they're going to build it and they want to finish it by 2028 the year by the time the olympics okay come to california okay so today so, i want to talk to you about the bright line west train that is going to be built from rancho cucamonga station to las vegas it's the bright line train is coming to the high desert okay yes so the let's talk about the locations of the stops before we talk about anything else okay so the train or the station brand new station is going to be built in rancho cucamonga okay that's going to be one of the main stations there and okay so rancho cucamonga to a station in Hesperia, to a station in Victor Valley, 
or Victorville to Las Vegas. Okay. But yes, the main stations that's going to be built is in Rancho Cucamonga. So um, that's also going to be a very good uh, thing to help people um, commute. Okay. Uh, from Barstow, maybe down to Rancho or uh, down to a different area, LA uh, for work. I know that that might sound a little crazy for a couple of people, but trust me, there's a lot of people that live here in the high desert and they do commute to Los Angeles or to San Diego for, for their work. Okay. So we do have a couple of people that live here and do commute uh, farther down for work. Okay. So just keep that in mind that we're going to be having, we're going to be getting a high speed train. Okay. The funding has been approved. I don't know how long it's going to take. That's the only thing I think that everybody's on the fence because they're like, how long is it going to take? And are they going to be able to finish it? Because they still haven't finished the high speed train in San Francisco. Right. So I just want to be a little honest, but just give you the information that the bright line high speed train is coming to the high desert so that might be something that is going to entice you to make your move here to barstow okay all right guys so let's talk about the the real cons about barstow okay because i get a lot of questions um i get a lot of comments like oh barstow is just a rundown city so i'm not trying to make this video and try to make it seem like it's not i'm just trying to show you what's available in the area and why people are moving into Barstow. Now let's really okay. get really deep into the nitty gritty about Barstow. Okay. What are the biggest cons about the area? Of course, it's going to be that it does look like a run rundown city. Okay. And I'm not here trying to make it seem or paint it in a good light or all this stuff. Does Barstow have crime? I'm pretty sure it does. I don't really know the stats. Okay. Um, is, uh, Barstow have businesses that have moved out of the area? Yes, it it does. Okay, so that's why I really want to come to you and really talk to you seriously and honestly about what we're seeing in Barstow, okay? That's where I want to come from with all the cons, okay? The number one con, it is that it's 40, no, 36 to 40 minutes away from Victorville, California, okay? So if you want to go to a, a big mall, or go do whatever in Victorville, you are going to have to drive 36, 36 minutes to 40 minutes away to go to Victorville. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to fly out in Ontario airport, you're an hour and a half from Ontario airport. Now you are two hours away from Las Vegas, Nevada. So if you want to go gamble or go spend a weekend in, in Vegas, you can go to Vegas and then come back home in two hours. Okay. So Hey, uh, you can go wrong there. Okay. But, um, yeah, so I just want you to really, uh, keep in mind all of the cons. Okay. Because I know that there's going to be a list of things that people are going to like about Barstow. And there's a list of things that people are not going to like. Okay. Now let's talk about the main street. Okay. So if you drive down main street, you're going to see a lot of people, a lot of homeless people, a lot of Things happening on Main Street. A lot of businesses are closed down. Hey, it so I just wanted to give you a quick driving tour of the Main Street here in Barstow, California. I just want you to get a first hand feel and um, so you can see for yourself how the area really looks. Okay, because uh, Barstow just went through uh, something that a, a lot of these communities here in the high desert um, have been through okay so yeah i mean does the old town area have businesses that are are closed and boarded up and you know have moved out yep it does okay does it have homelessness yes it does but you know i want you to consider just everything doesn't mean that you have to live next to this main street okay because barstow has a lot of beautiful properties and homes that you can purchase and they're in all different areas so i just wanted you to get a first-hand feel of the old town 
barstool area here and uh, just so you can really know what's really going on here and how it really looks now go ahead and enjoy the rest of this little driving tour Hey, it is what it is. Barstow is what it is. Okay, but I'm here to tell you that we are seeing a big movement with homes being sold in Barstow. Okay, so now let's talk about another thing. You are going to be more farther down from Los Angeles, from Rancho Cucamonga, from San Diego, from the beaches. Okay, so now you're instead of being two and a half hours away if you're in Victorville, now you're three hours and a half away from the beaches and LA and all of the other places. Okay, so that's a big con. Okay, now let's talk about the weather. Okay, so the weather. I mean, it gets really cold and it gets really hot here. Okay, that's another con. So you are going to have to consider the weather in Barstow. So that's just a little bit of things that you do need to keep in mind. The weather, just it gets really cold here. Okay, it's the desert. Okay. But I want you to keep in mind, too, that in Barstow, there's a lot of areas where you can go off-roading, um, dirt biking, camping. So I wanted free. to share the pros and cons of living in Barstow, California. So I created a blog, okay? And in this blog, blog, I talk about home affordability, your down payment resources, how much your down payment's gonna be, okay? Um, looking to the future, things that are happening in Barstow, okay, the history of Route 66. And I actually put here the information about off-roading adventures in Barstow. Okay, so I, I have some little tricks about um, if you're just a beginner, okay? Uh, mapping out your adventure, the ultimate destination guide, uh, essential tips for first time visitors. If you're barely coming out off-roading and you just need a little uh, something to look over, okay? I did put some other links here, okay? Things that are close by to Barstow, but here are the links that I wanna tell you. These are, um, you can go ahead and click here, and it's a be uh, beginner's off-road trail near Barstow. Best Barstow trails, and the ultimate destination guide to Barstow, okay? So I found these three websites. that are gonna help you and give you a lot of information if you're new to off-roading, and it's right here on my blog. I'm gonna attach the blog down below so you can go ahead and um, see this information if you need it. And uh, go ahead and read everything else on here. We have uh, a lot of great info and I actually put all of the playlists, okay? So this is a playlist for Barstow that you're gonna be able to find here on, on my blog post. So there you have everything in one in one location i okay. talked to you the, there's certain areas close to the outlets okay where you can enjoy a lot of outdoor activity and that's all free okay uh for the family okay so i just wanted to really just come to you from the heart and give you these pros and cons about barstow california okay and uh really let you know what's happening in right, guys the so what's the big news that's happening here in Barstow, California. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, I don't know, you probably heard about it because I'm seeing a lot of movement happening in Barstow in the real estate market. But, okay, the big news is that there's a major project that's gonna be taking place here in Barstow, California. And it's gonna be known as the Barstow International Gateway. So it's called the Big project. Look it up on YouTube. You're going to see 
all of the stuff that's happening that's going to happen here in Barstow and where they're taking this project to the next level. Okay, so I want to give you a little overview of the plans for the big project. It's called Big, okay? Barstow International Gateway Big uh, Project, okay? So, so it's um, the railway's plan to invest more than 1.5 billion to construct construct a state of the art master plan rail facility in Southern California. And the first being developed of its class number one railroad, the Barstow International Gateway will be an approximately 4,500 acre new international rail facility on the west side of Barstow, consisting of a rail yard, intermodal facility and warehouse, four transloading freight from international containers to domestic containers. Okay, so this is going to be a huge project. So imagine all the jobs that this is going to provide to Barstow or just all of the revenue that's going to come into the city. Okay, so let's talk about the project benefits. Okay, the facility will allow the direct direct transfer of containers from shipping from shippers at the port of Los Angeles and Long Beach two trains for transport transport through the Alameda corridor BNSF main line up to Barstow once the containers reach the Barstow International Gateway they will be processed at a facility using cargo handling equipment powered by clean energy and then staged and built into train moving east via the BNSF's network across the nation. The new facility will bring thousands of direct jobs to California, to California's high desert community, reducing the highway and port congestion and maximizing the rail and distribution distribution efforts in the region and across the USA supply chain. So, okay, let's talk about it. All right, so tell me what do you guys think about what they're building here in Barstow, California? Okay, so have you heard of this project? Have you guys uh, caught, caught wind of maybe that's why there's been a lot of movement on in the real estate um, market in Barstow? You know what? It could happen. It may not happen. But for right now, I've heard that they are um, there is plans to complete that project. OK, and I think it is private funding as well. OK, but you can look into it. And if you know, know any more information about it, go ahead, leave me a comment down below and let me know if, what you know about this project, okay? And that's why I wanted to save it until the end of the video because guys, imagine, I know that Barstow needs a lot of help, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I mean, uh, but it still has home affordability and that's what a lot of people are looking for. And imagine if this, development does bring in all of those jobs okay for uh families okay what's that what is that going to do to the economy in barstow okay so i know it's going to take a a while to bring up barstow but hey i mean it's looking brighter all the time okay because imagine the this project with the rail the rail system and then the bright line west train Okay, and put those in together. That's great news for the high desert and for Barstow too. Okay, so that's why I wanted to give you this quick update on the big project that's happening here in Barstow. Don't forget to do your own research on all of this information. All right, guys, 
Like always, this is Angelica Bonilla with Excellence Real Estate and the Bonilla Group. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're liking all of these videos. Bye, guys.